studies, I believe. Hmm. But anyway, um, a South Asia has its characteristic, especially um, in the combination of uh, Zahir and Batin side, or legal and Sufis. It's an amazing. So, for example, um, a South Asia developed uh, the thought theory of Wahat Radian, the, the oneness of religions. And also, even today, we can see uh, the flourishing uh, a popular veneration to both um, Hindu shrines and Muslim shrines, and even sometimes Christian shrines. I believe this is a symbolic case of the, the our coexistence in the future. And I'd like to show you one picture from um, one of the marginal uh, Islamic world. I took, uh, can you see it? Uh, I took this picture in Lanzhou of China. As you know, China has uh, more than 2000, uh, 20 uh, million uh, Muslim populations. And in one of the uh, Muslim uh, shrines, I found this Chinese poet. Uh, it reads, Chen Mian Pen Wu Er. Uh, the meaning of it is the true face is originally uh, it's only one there are no two of two faces but when it uh, appears only when it appears many faces appear in front of us so this is without doubt uh, shows the theory of one is of what what in China. So I believe that uh, if we pay uh, our attention not only to the so-called central Islamic world, but also to the whole Islamic world, um, our um, a future Islamic studies as well as Sufi studies will be enriched. Thank you very much for your kind attention.